Are you looking for a new career or maybe wanting to switch jobs? Well, it's time to think about career experiments. Yeah, you can experiment with a career. Today, I am going to show you six different career experiments you can do to make sure that career is a great fit for you before diving full steam ahead. That's mixing metaphors. Before going for it completely in a nine to five. There it is. So if we haven't met yet, my name is Cassandra and I am here to give practical tips to gain career confidence. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Now, let's talk career experiments. What are career experiments? Basically, these next six things are ways that you can kind of try on a career, learn more about it, that thing you think you want to do, but maybe haven't completely evaluated. So this way you get to kind of see if it really is a good fit for you. So the easiest career experiment to me is what are called curiosity conversations or informational interviews. So this is essentially where you will find people doing the thing that you want to do and saying, hey, I would love to hear more about your career. Could I take you to coffee or have a virtual Zoom call? call and hear more about what it is you do and how you got started. These are awesome because oftentimes we read about a job or maybe we see a job in a movie. Let's get real. And it looks fun or it looks interesting, but we don't know the ins and outs. We don't know how exciting it really is. Like the amount of teenagers who want to work as fashion editors or they learn about the word buyer for a store and go, I want to do that don't know how many Excel spreadsheets that buyer looks at before taking the one trip to Italy every year. Like, we just don't know. We hear about a job and we go, wow, that sounds really cool. But we need to really learn from somebody in it. What are the, the actual details of the job to see if it's really a good fit for us? Hey, I thought being a handbag buyer at Nordstrom would be the be all end all. And like I said, I learned how many spreadsheets they look at and that you're not looking at these bags and beautiful showrooms. You're looking in ugly factory floors. And I went, yeah, you know, not for me, but I'm very happy that buyers are out there to bring those bags to me. Now, please notice I said curiosity conversations. You need to have more than one. Even if you meet with somebody and you hear about their job and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, this is the job. This is the thing I want to do. Go talk to people who do that job in other companies. See if it's the same across the board or does one company treat their employees a lot better than another? Does one company have a title listed one way and in another company that title does something completely different and you need to look for this other title. It's just helping you gain this information and recon, but you want to meet with different people and really evaluate. Does this job seem like something Thing I would actually enjoy. And if you need more help on informational interviews, on curiosity conversations, I have a whole playlist about them. So I will put that here and also in the description box below. Okay, this next experiment is going to sound so obvious, but in all my years of career coaching, I'm truly shocked by how many people don't do this. And please don't turn me off when you hear it. Have you tried doing the thing for free. No, really, it is crazy, but a lot of us will go, wow, I would love to do social media for a big company. Or uh, one I oddly have gotten more than once is I would love to be a sports announcer. Well, have you ever tried doing announcing? Like all you have to do is put on a game, turn down your TV, and do you like how I did this? Like we still have old volume knobs? What just happened? turn down your TV and try and announce the game. Like try the thing on at home. You might not work for Revolve Fashion, but you know you would love to do Instagram and social media for them. Well, make some posts as if you work for them and see if you still really like it. Once again, there are a lot of jobs out there that I think we just think look fun or sound cool, but we need to try and see if they're actually fun for us. So don't be afraid to just try a job on. It's almost a hobby. Um, it's not a waste of time just because you're not getting paid. You should be able to see in that like 
is this something I enjoy? So if you really want to announce, start announcing. I mean, we've seen the people in this time doing play-by-plays of things like their kid eating food or their dog throwing a toy. You can announce anything. But whatever it is for you, right? Uh, If it's graphic design, if it's like, if your dream is creating movie posters, make one. Make one for a movie coming out, just for the fun of it. See if you liked the process. You know, figure out whatever that thing is for you that you wanna do, try it on for free. Okay, so another experiment you can do is to ask people what they're having a problem with and then solve it. Now, I'm not saying ask them about, you know, personal problems like marital issues. I'm saying, what's an issue in your business right now? And see if you can help them solve it. This is a great way to figure out what you may like to do if you truly have no clue what kind of job you want. So ask people what they're working on in their business, what's the problem they're trying to solve, research that thing and see if you can come up with some ideas. Did you like the ideas you found? Did you like going through that process? It's a great way to kind of figure out what are some of the things you may enjoy doing in a future job. Kind of the reverse of this is to just let everyone in your life know what it is you're hoping to do and asking them if they have any issues in that area in their business and if you could help them with it. So That's going to be a little more specific depending on what it is you want to do and if the people around you have issues with that thing. But the more you put out there what you want to do, the more people will come to you with that problem. It's just a weird thing. So you'll be able to fix more issues because of it. Does that make sense? You tell people, hey, I want to do more graphic design because they know what you're looking to do. Then there's an opportunity for them to come to you and say, hey, I'm actually looking for someone to design our new logo. Would you be interested? So put it out there to people as well. But just trying to solve people's problems in general will help you figure out what you like and don't like doing. So the next way to experiment is to freelance. Now, not every job has a freelancing version, but if you want to do coding, you can code on a freelance project. If you want to be an accountant, you can bookkeep for a company for a while. There are contract and freelance positions all over the place. So graphic design, social media, writing, copy editing, transcribing, bookkeeping, as I said, coding. There's a lot of uh, freelance or contract-based engineering jobs. Go on Upwork, go on Fiverr, set up a profile, try on some of these things to see if you actually like it and what parts you really enjoy. You might find out you have some really interesting niche, like you only like doing social media for pet, local pet businesses. Who knows? Like you need to try on through freelance to figure out a little bit more of whether this job is a good fit for you and maybe even if there's a specific area of focus. So don't rule out freelancing. And then of course, you can always volunteer. So if there is something you really want to do, find a nonprofit in your area and just offer your skills, volunteer to do that thing for them. I think a lot of times we think of volunteering as just like, oh, I show up and I pass out food or I fold clothes or things, just very basic things. But local nonprofits need a bookkeeper. Local nonprofits need social media. And so if you can come in and give these skills, they're probably not gonna turn you away. Even something like if you wanna do event planning, create a fundraiser for your local nonprofit that you care about just to get those skills under your belt. So don't be afraid of volunteering for that thing you really wanna do because it's also a nice way, I think, to try something on without as much fear of failure because you weren't getting paid. Like, let's just talk about that part of it for a second. Because you're volunteering, I think if things aren't perfect, you're not as worried. They didn't pay you for your service anyway. You still should give your best, but I think it takes a lot of the fear out of trying. And then let's end on another super simple way to try on a career. You guys, you can take a class. So if there is something you think you want to do, take a course in it. It could be at a community college. It could be at an extension school of a university. It could be online. For example, I took a journalism 
like, I think it was essentially like journalism 101 at UCLA Extension years ago because I thought I want to start writing more and maybe I want to start writing for different blogs and different magazines and so I should learn the journalistic style of writing. And what I learned is it's a way to like the whole inverted pyramid and the way you have to write, it's just not as fun for me. But I did definitely have some takeaways from it and it was great to try it on to see if it was a fit. So whatever that thing is you wanna do, I promise you there is a course on it. Try it on, try some projects in a class, see what parts of the projects you like, what you didn't, maybe you love the whole thing, really evaluate it to see, is this something you wanna learn more about and do in the future? Those are six ways that you can experiment with a career before going for it full time. Please let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these experiments already or which one you'll do first. Leave it in the comments. I read all of them. And once again, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.